So if you know your laws of indices, you'll know that the first question, we have to do x to the 5 plus 4. Under multiplication, um, we add our powers together. So our first answer is x to the power 9. And similarly, if you know the division law, it's going to be y to the power 7 minus 2. So the answer to that is y to the power 5. So expand and simplify. So we have to do 3 lots of 2a, which is 6a. 3 lots of 5, which is 15. 5a plus 5a. And 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. So that's the expand part. Bring together your a's and you have 11a. And then it's 15 minus 10, which is 5. Two marks for expanding and simplifying. So a straightforward sort of two linear brackets is going to give you a sort of a quadratic expression. You should realise you're going to get y squared. You're going to get y times 7, or 7y. Then you're going to get 5y. I'll draw that for you there. It's not coming out very well, is it? Let's try again. So the 5 times the y, 5y. It could do it quicker than this, but I'll just take you through. And then 5 sevens, 35. Now, once it's simplified, so you need to bring together the um, y's. So 7y and 5y is 12y plus 35. So for part e, we've got to factorise p squared minus 6p plus 8. So you should realise then that to have a minus in the middle and a plus at the end can only come from... Uh, two minuses in the middle. You need to get two numbers that uh, combine to give you 8 and then multiplied. So these two numbers, a times b equals 8. And when they're put together, they give you minus 6. Okay, those are the two conditions. So that's going to come from 4 and 2. Because minus 2 plus minus 4 equals minus 6 and minus 2 times minus 4 equals 8. So that is your quadratic factorised.